Hola there, my sexy compadres y mamacitas. My name is Peter, and bienvenidos to my kitchen, where I'll be teaching you to cook for charity. Shokengeki no Soma is one of my favorite animes of all time, and if you didn't know, the longer version of my intro is actually based on the season 2 opening. I'm so excited that the fourth season came back that, in celebration, I want to do the dish that they made, because it's very interesting. Frozen egg salad that you dip in tempura batter, and then you fry it, and then you open it up, and it oozes out, and your clothes blow off? I can't wait to try that. So, in celebration of the fourth season of Shikeki no Soma, I am going to be making the egg tempura. So without further ado, let's get cooking. The ingredients you're going to need for this dish is 3.5 ounces of dashi broth, and in order to make that you need 0.7 ounces of kombu, 3 cups of dry bonito flakes, and 4 cups of water. Now here's a little bit of a disclaimer, not a lot of people have access to a bunch of Japanese ingredients if they don't have an Asian supermarket by them or their grocery store doesn't carry it. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make a substitute dashi broth if you can't find bonito flakes. You're going to need 0.7 ounces of kombu, and if your grocery store does not even carry kombu, you can use the seaweed sheets they wrap sushi in, 1.5 cups of dried shiitake mushrooms, and 4 cups of water. The rest of the ingredients follow is 6 tablespoons of cold water, 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of murin, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 4 frozen eggs, 5 tablespoons of wheat flour, this can be wheat flour or rice flour since they have a lower density than flour, 1 tablespoon of potato starch, a half a cup of flour, frying oil, shisho leaves or mint leaves, now if you can't find shisho leaves you can use mint leaves because they're in the same family and that's what I'm going to be using, 1 cup of short grain rice and 1 quarter cups of water. First, gently clean the kombu with a damp cloth without removing too much of the white powdery nami substance. Then make a couple of slits in the kombu with some scissors. Place the kombu in a saucepan and cover it with water. Add a pot lid to completely submerge the kombu in the water. Soak for at least 3 to 6 hours. The longer you soak, the more natural flavors come out of the kombu. After your kombu has been soaking, slowly bring it to a boil over medium low heat. Just before it boils, you're going to see bubbles around the edges of the pan. At this time, you're going to completely remove the kombu from the broth. If you leave the kombu inside, the dashi will become slimy and bitter. After it boils, turn the heat off and let the dashi cool down. Once your dashi broth has cooled down a little bit, you're going to add in your bonito flakes and bring it to a boil again, skimming the top occasionally. Once the dashi is boiling, you're going to reduce the heat and simmer for 30 seconds and then completely turn off the heat. At this time, you want the bonito flakes to sink to the bottom, it should take around 10 minutes. Line the sieve with paper towels and drain the dashi broth through it. Gently squeeze the paper towel to release any dashi broth stuck within the bonito flakes. For the substitute broth, first de-stem and cut up shiitake mushrooms up finely. Then on the lowest setting of your oven, bake the mushrooms on one side for one hour and then flip again for another hour. You want the mushrooms to be able to break apart in your fingers. Then you're going to soak and bring the kombu to a broil just like the regular broth. However, once you remove the kombu and it starts to boil, you're going to add in your shiitake mushrooms, then lower the heat to a simmer and simmer it for about a minute. Then set the broth to the side and let it cool for 10 minutes. Just like the other broth, you're going to line a sieve with paper towels and then strain the broth through it. Then gently squeeze the paper towels to release any of the extra dashi broth stuck in the shiitake mushrooms and then you can discard the mushrooms. Now let's start on the rice. Gently wash the rice in a circular motion 3-4 to four times until the water has become clear. Then soak the rice in water for 30 minutes. Drain the rice and set aside for 5-10 to 10 minutes until the rice is completely drained. If you have a rice cooker, use it. If not, in a pan, combine the rice with one and a quarter cups of water and bring to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn the heat to low and cook covered for 12-13 to 13 minutes until the water is completely absorbed. Do not remove the lid at all while cooking. Then set the rice to the side for 10 minutes so it can continue to steam. In a small saucepan, combine the dashi broth, soy sauce, mirin, and sugar. Mix them together well and simmer for about 3 minutes. In a bowl, combine the weak flour, potato starch, and water to make the tempura batter. Then crack open your frozen egg and dust it in flour. Coat well with the tempura batter and drop it in the oil to fry. You want the oil to be 320 degrees Fahrenheit, 160 degrees Celsius, and cook each side of the egg for 3 minutes, a 6 minute total fry. In addition, dip the face of your shisho leaves or mint leaves in batter and fry them until they become crispy. Over rice, place your shisho or mint leaves down, add the tempura egg on top, and drizzle a generous amount of sauce on top of the egg and rice. Cut it open and watch the yolk ooze out. Grab some utensils and dig in. Your egg tempura rice bowl is done. Now here's my favorite part of the video where we get to taste what we just made. So the yolk is still spilling out, the tempura is nice and crispy, I'm gonna dive right in. 
if you don't mind me. I'm gonna get a little bit of the rice, a little bit of the batter. Oh, oh my God, it's delicious. Mmm, that's perfect. Let's get a little bit of that fried mint. Mmm, oh, everything's balanced so perfectly. Mmm, okay. Let's start talking about that flavor. The most important thing, the thing you're going for, is the egg. The tempura is a nice crispy batter and you bite into it and get a little bit of the egg and then when you dip it into the rice and then you get that nice sauce from the bonito flakes, from the soy, from the mirin. It's a little bit sweet but perfect. It goes so well and then if you have a little bit of that mint and you put it in at the end, it's perfect. I can see why uh, Soma didn't get it disgusting with this dish. It is delicious, it is simple, and it's really, really fun to do. And I highly, highly recommend you try this dish. My clothes would have ripped off, but I, I gotta keep YouTube advertiser friendly. But trust me, guys, when I say this dish is delicious, it's delicious. <laughs> Once again, my compadres y mamacitas, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said in the past, when you watch these videos, money is made. That money is automatically doing to charity. I keep none of the funds I make for my videos. Every single one raises money for charity. So please, guys, if you enjoy this video, share it on the socials. Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, whatever you use. It really, really helps me out. Also, guys, if you enjoy this video, give it a like and comment below if you're going to make this dish at home or what future recipes you would like to see on Cuckoo's Kitchen, either from your favorite video games or anime. Also, if you dislike the video, dislike it and tell me why. I love reading constructive criticism. And also, don't forget to click that bell and be notified because YouTube likes to screw over smaller creators and make sure you only get your daily dose of talk show hosts so make sure you get always those notifications so we know when I upload but guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to make more of these recipes along with season four of Hood Wars I'm really excited it's back and I'm really excited to make these recipes for you Breath of the Wild recipes are coming don't worry I'm also working on a huge project that's gonna take your breath away that I've been hinting at so make sure you check out my Twitter for more of those subtle hints but with the Breath of the Wild recipes I'm going to get that special order thing I've been I'm waiting for very very soon so I'll have that recipe coming out you towards you probably next week or the week after so stay tuned for that but guys as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time stay sexy adios